हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बी आई एस पी ट्रेनिंग्स यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज सुमित एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू वीडियो स्टडी ऑफ सेल्स फोर्स एनालिटिक्स क्लाउड थ्रू दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट हाउ टू कम्बाइन सेल्स फोर्स एंड एक्सटर्नल डेटा इन वेव एनालिटिक्स यूजली देर आर टू वेज टू बिल्ड अ डेटा सेट इन एनालिटिक क्लाउड the first one is the by using salesforce data and second one is from an external file those who are familiar with wave analytics so they might be knowing that it is easy to build a data set from salesforce data and analytics cloud by simply dragging and dropping it is also rather easy to create a data set from an external file simply by uploading the data from an external file as long as we would not be making any changes to that metadata files but how do we combine above two sets of data together the salesforce data with external data how can we combine them this would be an issue and i am sure pretty much sure that most of you want to know that how can we combine external data with external uh, salesforce data with external data and form a new data set so this kind of scenario would be less obvious this would be more in demand and but we don't have any inbuilt option available in wave analytics so that we can combine them together so with a little bit of a data flow manipulation we can create a new composite data set of by using both the sources so through this video by the end of this video all of you would be able to combine the salesforce data with as well as external data and form a new data set for to perform the data visualization so first of all i am going to load the external data from a csv formatted file so the file which i am going to use here i am using a i am going to use a data set and that data set contains very limited columns so that data set contains only four fields account product period and price account why i keep account because this will be used to join the two data set this will be a key uh, this will be used as a key to join the two data sets this would be a common key between both the data sets salesforce data as well as this external data and i'm not going to load this period i have a, uh, it can it uh, it is available in my data set but i'm not going to use it i'm going to load only account period and price i'm using here two two records because i have got only two records right now and uh, if you as you can see here these account must exist in salesforce data as well so let me show you that that's my wave analytics so first of all let me show the sales data and in my sales data within my account entity i have got those two record exists so the i have got two account name with xyz and abc so it should be same so that we can perform the uh, the joining between both the data sets so now i am going to load the data set so i have already loaded this data set this external data set into my wave analytics and i named it as sales data next i am going to load salesforce account data so for this i simply load the account data so i'll create a new data set and here i'm going to load connect load the data from directly from salesforce and from account entity and the fields i would be requiring that is the account id so i'm requiring couple of fields like account id and i'll uh, be requiring account id so let's that's the entity name account click plus and account id i would be i would be connecting with name account type industry account industry or that would be industry and region now if i look at the json for this so when you click on this icon we can preview the json 
which will be used to create this data set. So I'll just expand this and that's the JSON for this file. We can download this JSON file later on as well or what you can do is you can save this JSON right now as well. So we have an option, we can save this JSON. We have an option to save this JSON. So I just select this and I can save a JSON from here as well or once the data gets loaded by, from, by using uh, data flow monitor from there also we can download the JSON file for the current data set. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I can simply create a data set and I name this data set as account data set or simple, let's say simple account. Store into my private app, create it. Yes. And I'll go to my data flow view because we need to explicitly start the execution and I can go to job view to look at the process. So it's the ongoing process. It's in a queue. I'll just refresh it it's running and uh, just refresh once again. So it's successful. So the data has been loaded successfully. Let's go and verify. So we have got two data sets now sales data and sales data. This is the external data and this is the account data which is coming from Salesforce. Now I want to generate the JSON for account data set. So for this I go to data monitor. From where we can download go to data monitor data flow view and from here I can download the JSON for account. So I'll just write account data set JSON and save it. And let's look at account data set JSON. When I open it, that's the JSON for the account data set, which we have recently loaded into Wave Analytics. So I'll just quickly customize it. This is not mandatory, but I'm just doing it so that it looks a little nice. And uh, it would be easy for a user to understand name ID and then name is name, name is type. So these are the uh, column, these are the, or the fields which have been loaded along with this entity, uh, along with the data set. So then this is, this is the action associated with this SFDC register and parameters are, these are the parameters. So SFDC registers and parameters are account name and so on. And one, two, and three. So I'll just save this. Next, I would be requiring the JSON for my external data set. The external data set is the sales data. I would be requiring the data set for this as well. So the I have, if you want to know how can we extract the JSON for this external data set, mainly the CSV file or any other data set. So for this, you can visit my previous video, my existing video where I have demonstrated how that how can we export the data set from wave analytics. So I've already done that and that's my sales data scheme. So that's the JSON for my sales data. Now, as you can see here, this is sales underscore data underscore CSV and the name is sales underscore data. Now you might want to know the schema of the, the schema name of your data set. So for this, you can visit this link HTTPS ap2.salesforce.com slash analytics slash wave web lens dot ASPF. And here you can get a list of all your edge math data set. So my data set name is sales underscore data. Now the next step here, what I'm going to do is now I have got the JSON for my external data as well as I have got the JSON for my Salesforce data. Now the next step is we need to add an edge mart transformation in our existent JSON. So I'm going to customize the same JSON which we have exported because uh, I'm going to attach the edge mart as well as the joining statement I'm going to use with the existing data set, the account data set JSON, and then I will be going, uh, I will load this JSON back into my data flow. So therefore I just write a comma, I add a comma and I start a new 
id and i give a name as sales underscore data that's the name of the data bracket this should be in comma here i write action and edge mark comma parameters bracket so now we have got double brackets and here I write alias and the name of the data set so here the name of my data set is sales underscore data so here I provide I give a name sales underscore data so it is necessary that you would be using the same name if you do not use the same name then you would not be able to combine both the data sets so it is mandatory that the data set should be database name should be same so that's the first step uh, that's the step i have done here i have added an edge mark transformation so basically this allow us to load the previously created data set into the data flow now the next step is the by using the external data available now i can use the augmented transformation to combine it with the account data and the step for same is i'm going to combine it so i'll start a new id so 2001 so you can see all of the syntaxes have got a unique id this is 101 102 this is 201 i say 201 underscore combined combine underscore sales account and bracket and here action is equal to action so this augment this augment will help us to combine both the data sets and parameters now i would like to combine uh, the relationship so what's the relationship relationship would be sales relationship would be sales comma and left underscore key from left it would be connected with account so from left side account and right underscore key should be name now so left side means from this sales data it would be connecting through account and name is from the right key right key is coming from the salesforce data so from salesforce data we, uh, we have a named keyword so it would be named as name then left data would be coming from left data would be coming from 200 sales data 200 underscore sales data so that's the value from where the left data is coming the left key is coming and right side is coming from 101 the name is 101 so i'll provide here 101 comma then from right side i want id name type industry region of right side that's my requirement so i want to load the data from right side so here i specify right underscore select and what are the values i would be requiring i would be requiring id I'll just write what fields I would be requiring. I want ID. I want name. I want type. I want industry. I want region underscore underscore C. So it's a custom field. And that's all. Then comma. Now the final statement should be uh, once it register, so it will create 
So we need to specify the SFDC register statement to register. So for this, I create 202 underscore register underscore account sales data set and start a bracket with this. So what could be the action? So I'll define an action here. Action is SFTC register. Parameters bracket source 201. Now the data would be coming from 201 underscore combined sales account. So data would be coming from here. This, this would be the this would be my source data. And I give an alias to it. Alias sales with accounts and name would be sales with accounts. And so this would be my name and we have got the so the fine. So we're done with the code. Now I will save it and then we execute it. So I have saved that saved that JSON. Now I'm going to upload this JSON back into my wave analytics. So for this, I'll go to data monitor. Then the data flow open this data flow and I'm going to upload back that JSON file. And the name of that JSON file is I have got a couple of files. So the name of the JSON file is account data set JSON. There is a precaution which we have to take if you don't want anything should be goes wrong. And if you are afraid of your recovering the data back, so you should take a backup of your existence or uh, your existing data flow first of all and then try to update the JSON if you are not sure about it. So it, if it might throws an error, so at least you can have a backup JSON file so that you can recover your data set from there. Because once you update your JSON file, once you customize the JSON file and upload in the data flow, there is no way to undo directly into from wave analytics. So I, in that case, we have to remove the our existing data flow and then create a new one. So my name, the name is account data set JSON open and upload so it will get upload the file uploaded successfully click on done and now i'm going to start it so the process starts i'll go to job view and just look at the process is going on it's running and it will take some time to execute so you can see the process has been completed successfully now let's go and verify whether a new data set with the combined data has been updated or not has been created or not and the name should be sales with accounts so let's go and test it so i click on wave analytics and bingo you can see i have got a new data set named sales with account i click on sales with account and now i'm able to customize perform the data visualization on the combined data when I click on counts, when I say sum of price, sum of price, and this was, I can say group of account. See, I'm getting all the fields, account, period, product, sales ID, sales.industry, sales.name, sales.region, sales.type. If I click on region, and I would be able to, because there would be no filter criteria, the value, there will be no matched value. So I click on accounts, and I've got ABC, uh, which is 300, and XYZ is 120. So like this, we can combine the ex Salesforce data with external data set and we can perform data visualization based, uh, on the combined data set in wave analytics. So I hope you like this video and you found this video useful. If that's so, don't forget to press like button. If you have any comments, you can share your inputs in the comment box. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more informative videos on wave analytics keep watching have a nice day goodbye